Hello, I'm Mark Shelton, and I'll be presenting this webinar on former tenants and guarantors on behalf of MBL Seminars Limited. We uh, start off with just a, a brief introduction to the, the Landlord and Tenant Covenants Act of 1995, or the LTCA, if you want to call it that. Um, now, before that came into force, um, former tenants and their guarantors could be liable on the tenant covenants of a lease, despite the lease having been assigned to a third party by means of the doctrine of privity of contract. Um, now, the way that worked is because the original tenant gave a covenant with the landlord to pay the rent and perform the tenant's obligations throughout the term of the lease, uh, it remained liable throughout the term, despite having assigned the lease to uh, a third party. And upon an assignment, the assignee would almost always be required as part of the terms of the assignment to give a covenant with the landlord to the same effect, so that all parties who had been tenant for any period would remain liable throughout the term of the lease. Um, and these liabilities would also be owed to any assignee of the reversion, so former tenants could become liable to um, parties they'd never contracted with. Now, in the, contact, in the context of general contract law, the doctrine of privity um, has an exclusionary effect. If I can 